Hello and welcome back to the Azure Terraformer. Today I'm going to start a little bit of a marathon. The other day I did a long coding session where I was developing my Azure DevOps Terraform modules and I ran into some issues, you might say. Um, anyways, the coding session went about three hours and I'm breaking that up into five different videos so that um, I can compartmentalize some of the topics that I cover and some of the work that I get done. Um, the, the five videos um, encompass refactoring a few of the modules. This episode, I'm gonna start by refactoring the variable group module for my Azure credentials and creating a sample for it that is usable and works right off the bat, very turnkey. The next episode, I'm gonna do the same thing for the multi-stage pipeline repository module. The third episode, I'm actually gonna go and fix a bug in the source code template. If you recall, that source code library has a hard-coded foo value in it. I'm gonna just go in and replace that with the application name, just so that I don't have to deal with that every time I launch a new project with that template. Then in part four, I'm gonna create a user group module for Azure DevOps. That's gonna allow me to very easily create a user group and add users to it such that I can more easily grant permissions, set up code reviewers and things like that. Then in the last episode, I'm gonna battle with the Azure DevOps users data source and try and get the user descriptors that I can use to populate the user membership objects that I need to assign users into particular groups. Thus finalizing my update to the branch policy to automatically include a group of users as code reviewers. So that's it, buckle up. We've got a long ride. The lights are gonna get low. Don't freak out. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, this is uh, gonna be all wrapped up in version 1.08 of my Azure DevOps Terraform modules. So make sure you go check those out. Link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is the Git repo um, where my Azure DevOps module library is. Um, I, I have the code right here and I really want to continue developing these examples that are, that are built into the repo um, so that I can make sure that they're turnkey for, uh, for you guys when you guys go download and uh, test, you know, test my modules out, maybe even use them um, for yourself or fork my code and go do whatever you want to do. So for starters, I'm just going to set up my test environment make sure that I'm able to connect with the Azure DevOps environment and run Terraform apply from each of these directories. So I, I have my example set up here. There's a there's a, an example for my, ver my Azure credential variable group. And then I've got um, an example for my multi-stage pipeline, which is a repo. So let's, uh, let's start with the variable group. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm already getting running in some issues. I got to set up my personal access token um, and configure the provider. Okay, so I think I get everything set up here. So this plan seems to be working well. Um, my, my inputs are just a bunch of foo stuff. Um, I am referencing this existing project. Um, I guess, I guess that, that, that doesn't matter. Um, it might be good to specify the project um, in this example, because you may not have that project there. So let me just add a variable for that. Where are we gonna, where, basically, where are we gonna put this vari variable group? And I'm just gonna set like a default. There we go. So I'm gonna default it to infrastructure, but you, you can, of course, go ahead and change that when you go download the sample and make sure that you update the terraform.tfrs to use the correct um, value there. So I, I'm pretty happy about about this. So I, th I think I think this this module is in good shape um, because we're really 
we don't want to, I mean, this is a sample, so we're, we're, we're not actually going to put in credentials there. Uh, we're going to let, we're going to let you do that. Um, I could probably add additional, you know, like maybe an input variable for the name. So this is somewhat realistic. Um, we're, we're creating an Azure credentials variable group. We're pass, we're setting up each of these uh, values. Um, we're, I think we're good to go. So I, I, li I like this, I like this sample. That's it, that's the end of part one. We got our example for the variable group all set up and cleaned up, ready to go. Go check it out on my GitHub, link in the description below. Until next time, this is the Azure Terraformer, signing off.